What's up guys? John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. I am in Warsaw, Poland. By the way guys, if you haven't already got your tickets for the International Dating Conference at the end of August in Warsaw, it's gonna be all the top guys from the underground. Uh, myself, Alex and David from Playing With Fire, um, Marcus Wolf and Alexander Lindberg from Ultimate Man Project. Uh, the surgical pickup guys, Austin Summers, etc., etc. Go to www.sopotsummit.com. This is the final four days, the early bird special before prices go up. Uh, there were 250 people last year. We're expecting over 300 this year. I don't even remember what the capacity is of the venue is, but it's probably going to sell out. So go to sopotsummit.com. I'll put the link in the description. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I've been living in Warsaw since July, since the last conference last summer. I liked it a lot, so I just stayed. And we'll be flooding 300 eager young pickup artists into the club scene here, which will be wonderful. Um, now in this video, I wanted to touch again, as I've touched on in so many videos before, the importance of dates. I just put out a video recently um, about goal metrics. Watch that if you haven't already. Goal metrics you should set that basically say that you should be getting 40 leads per week, 40 phone numbers per week. Per week, the vast majority should probably come from night game, from bars and clubs, getting phone numbers. Um, and then you supplement with Tinder and Bumble and also with some daytime approaches as you're out and about doing random shit throughout your day. Um, yeah, I can't stress the, the importance. Like, for instance, today, there's like eight girls scheduled. It's like fucking actually overwhelming and annoying. Um, there's like multiple ones scheduled for different time slots. So there's supposed to be two different girls coming at three, two different coming at five, two different ones for seven. Um, Last night I had a situation where there was like five chicks trying to sleep over because you have your rotation too. So going to meet my friend here, we're going to take some more pictures for online game. We're trying a bunch of new strategies. My, uh, my former student here, he's going to have some of my videos coming up in the near future. Um, he just bought 10 SIM cards. <laughs> They're like fucking five Polish slots. It's like a dollar. A dollar twenty cents or something for us some kind of data, and um, he's gonna make like ten Tinder accounts, one for each SIM card, and fucking just like sweep the city. But we've really fine-tuned not to his pictures. He just got on one of his new profiles. He got over hundred matches in the first twenty-four hours, and it's not just like a Warsaw thing. Like we really, really fine-tuned this his pictures to hit all the optimal components of getting matches, um, which I described in my Akron Fraser product at ultimateseductionsystem.com. But we're still gonna be testing out some new stuff. We're trying to test profiles that just have like one picture each, one really solid picture. And then, um, okay, cool music. I'm half Polish, so I, I grew up with my, uh, my grandfather yes so I mean it's not like he even needs 10 profiles to go in parallel but we're experimenting with <laughs> so getting hardcore but we're experimenting with hiring virtual assistants in India, the Philippines, whatever, and giving them scripts, basically my flowcharts from the Leeds Machine product, and then um, having the, basically having the virtual assistant, like, because you can use Tinder from a, a desktop browser, those of you who didn't know that. And the virtual assistant is basically going to be doing all the swiping and messaging 
and we're gonna have them create a spreadsheet with like pictures and phone numbers, right? So we'll get the phone number from the girl and there'll be like a picture of her and her phone number. And then we can come and review like which phone numbers were procured with the general guidelines about how to tell if the girl is hot or not. And then, um, you know, we'll come through, message the, the hot ones. We're even thinking about doing like really insane volume, especially with like 10 profiles. And then adding in a layer of sexual screening as well. So getting commitment to meet straight at the house with a sexual frame. I mean, that, at that point, like, we're basically just organizing a steady conveyor belt of stunners that are framed for sex, basically GTF screen, um, to the house. And that's, I did, it's like getting out of control. I did 243 from July 17 to July 18. And my coach Ryan that you saw in some of the recent videos we had to take down because he's, he's doing a career in parallel where he doesn't really want his face. So we took all his videos down. But he did 200 in the past year as well. But I think with this system, you could potentially do like four to 500 or more <laughs> in a year, which is out of control. I don't really want to take it to that level. It's like, I enjoy the, the regulars, but it's interesting to experiment with. And it is cool that something like that is possible to, um, you know, basically just have, like say you didn't have a job, for instance, you just have like three to four chicks streaming straight to the house. And the, the cool thing is like with this online game angle, is you don't need any kind of face-to-face -face interaction until you actually meet. So you can literally have a virtual assistant or a friend or anyone using your scripts that are tested and tried and true and optimized and proved to be effective and efficient, organizing everything all the way to the meetup and then you show up and bring the confidence and charisma etc that you should have cultivated or if you haven't you should be in the process of cultivating and that's it and then you know you can build up your rotation of that or pick your favorite one for a girlfriend whatever your goal may be but the cool thing is is we might be turning this into a service like a done for you date set up, done for you, rotation set up. And we have the trained team use the scripts. We have someone work with you to get the, the best pictures possible for your profile. Maybe run multiple profiles in parallel using multiple SIM cards. This is like super nerdy, but literally just talking about like canvassing like an entire city, no matter which city you are in around the globe. Um, just like sweeping it. <laughs> with 10 profiles. So basically like, if you're thinking about like, kind of like a marketing analogy, right? Um, like in marketing, you could set up like a local shop. One sec. You could set up like a local shop in your city. Um, okay, so you could like set up a local shop. You're only gonna get traffic from local people and people that pass by and stuff like that right if you go to an online business now you can serve the ad to people across the whole country or in this example let's talk about a whole city and then if you increase the spend of the ad it increases your exposure right so by running like 10 profiles in parallel this, I mean, this might sound extreme to some of you guys even just a few pro profiles in parallel you're sweeping with like a larger net there's like a larger exposure to people that are seeing it, okay, and it, if it's finely tuned, optimized pictures according to the principles that I teach, then it's going to be attractive and people are going to click on it, much much like a good ad in marketing would do, like if you put out a shitty ad, which is equivalent of people doing like selfie pictures on the Tinder and other low quality pictures of various types, people are going to be like, fuck that, I don't want to click on that, it looks like shit, right, that's it, I'm not interested in that. So by fine tuning these pictures, it's giving you all the exposure. And then, or sorry, it's giving you the, the high chances they're going to click on you. And then by sweeping with a whole bunch of accounts in parallel, that increases your exposure, which in the marketing world would equivalent, be the equivalent of like increasing your ad spend. 
spending more on your advertising. Anyways, they're doing more campaigns. Anyways, this, I mean, there's much more to game and pick up than online, but this angle is, is fun that we're exploring right now. And this dude that I'm kind of brainstorming all this with, he's like a, he turned $3,000 into 1.2 million in two years in the crypto market, um, even when it wasn't booming, just, you know, doing analysis and he's like a hyper analytical machine, just like, just like my mind is. So, um, this, this is like really cool for us to be exploring because we're going to see like kind of the limits we can push this to. I don't know if I'm going to try to fucking start knocking out four to six new in a day. Probably not. Um, other business and fitness goals and I'm having really good rotation and stuff like that right now. Um, but I think he might, he might try to push it. He's, he came to me at six light count less than a year ago and he's, in the, the week that he's been back to Warsaw, he's closed one or two new every day consistently in the past like nine days. So that's, you know, it's higher than a lot of guys total counts in the community as they're doing like years of endless cold approaching. And he's not paying ugly checks either since he's getting so many matches and since the, the message flow is so tight. Um, to get the meetup, he's able to you know, screen, pick out the hottest ones, and then get them to meet up. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe below. Um, we are really, really ramping up the marketing efforts. You can't really tell on the on the front end of YouTube here, but we're really, really ramping up the marketing efforts on the back end. We've got a whole marketing team now. We're doing all kinds of cold traffic across various platforms. There's really high scale ads going out and it's going to be leading to lots of digital product sales and lots of program bookings. Um, but still, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm not going to be as hardcore as I was the past few months on YouTube just because it's just kind of like a slow beast and everyone's kind of just looking for handouts and shit there. Everyone's always complaining like, oh, give us more you know, start to finish infields, and I'm like, oh, it's in my product, oh, we'll give them for free on YouTube, you know, so, it's a whole bunch of, and then everyone's always fucking hating on YouTube, no matter what you do, which I don't really give a shit about, but, I don't know, I'll, I'll keep up with, with videos on a somewhat regular basis, I'll try to keep doing the five a week, um, but, if you are interested in beta test, yo, <laughs> you want to say what's up, I'm making a video for YouTube. Yo guys, the, uh, be sexy. This is the mastermind behind the... Yeah, here I am with, uh, with Nicholas and... i my sunglasses, it's cloudy. Um, he's got the 10... you have the 10 SIM, the 10 SIM cards on you right now? No, yeah. I'm upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I basically explained our strategy, how you got over 100 matches in the past... Oh, it wasn't even 24 hours, it was like 12 hours. Right? No, it's like I, it's 4 a.m., 10 hours ago. <laughs> 10 hours, yeah, before bed he made a profile at 4 a.m. and then when he woke up it had 100 likes on uh, Tinder Gold. Okay, these are my uh, like matches. I filtered it down to like all the. Um, you can show your camera. It's fine. I filtered it down to like the eights and nines. So like they have forty like high, high quality matches right now. Okay. Um. What was I gonna say though? How many? Well, you, you've been back like, what? Like a week? Yeah. And you you close one to two new per day. Sometimes even more. Uh, no, my average is uh, exactly one per day. Okay. Yeah, it's not. So not nothing to scoff at. One per day. No, I was I was trying to I was telling people how I did 243 in a in a year. That yeah, was but again, keep in mind I was I was uh, seeing a lot of old girls, so I'm not I'm pretty busy. Yeah. <laughs> so only one new a day. Only. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I was saying I was talking on here like what are the limits we could push this to, and I was saying how I did 243 in the, in the past year as a record. But what do you think? I, I already gave Matt. How many do you think? Like say say we did the 10 SIM cards. And we outsource to the virtual assistant to like India or to Philippines, and they're running, like, they're just running all the leads machine sequences, and, and then also screening for DTF and making sure they're all coming to the house. So it's just a conveyor belt of girls. You to prove. And them. if we go to a city of like 10 million, yeah, yeah, 20 yeah like, million. London, like London, yeah, we're, we're considering actually going and testing this in London. So it's like got every ethnicity and it's like unlimited stunners. Um, <clears throat> but 
what do you think the, what do you think the limit or what do you think are like a range that's possible to do in a year like if you're not if you don't have a real job so we would have to switch switch cities every few months because we would legit <laughs> we would legit kill the city but no like, what even <laughs> 20 million people we would kill what, it <laughs> no what so, do you think in a year how many do you think you could bang out new closed fuck it's gonna be an expensive year but um you could do it easily easily a thousand a year <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was estimating like four or five hundred. No, because there, because there's flaking. There's like other life commitments. The, the, the days a thousand years is three is three consistently all yeah. year long. Yeah, I don't think that's realistic. That, that's like the that's the upper limit. I don't think that's realistic. It's the upper limit. Like you can do yeah, it, but there's you can all... easily do ten days a day easily. <laughs> <laughs> if you just just do like one hour schedules ten a day. Yeah, and you kick him out. See, this is like, this is so this is minutes. so beyond <laughs> this is so beyond like. Um, Everyone's, I don't like the stupid word reality, but this is so beyond what everyone is used to. Like, guys, you can double schedule, guys, schedule. guys are like doing like endless amounts of cold protein to try to like bang one seven. And this would be like just a stream of it's eights. a sweet fucking bite. A stream. <laughs> Basically, okay, just to wrap this up because I don't want this video to be too long. It would be, uh, <laughs> we remember doing like the, the fake hand earlier with the. <laughs> We were doing like selfies, but someone was holding it from behind. So like this. Like... It was a selfie. Like, like it was a really long hand selfie. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Okay, so basically all you need to do is you need to get pro picks. You'd have to have girls uh, screen them. We have other ways to screen them, like through putting them on Instagram and seeing which get the most likes, et cetera, et cetera. And then um, we'd have the Indian or the Filipino outsourced team running our leads machine scripts. And basically creating a spreadsheet of here's girls that are like down to come to the house. Do you approve or not? You'd approve, you'd approve all the, the ones that you thought were hot enough. I'm fucking tired of shit right now. You approve all the ones that were hot enough and then um, they would just line them up. Like you would tell them your schedule and they would just line them up to the house back to back to back and you would show up and you, the, the point of the cool thing with online is what I was making the point about before is that you don't need to like be part of the interaction until like you meet up yeah so the the outsource team could literally like get them coming to the house with a sexual frame so that they're expecting sex and coming straight to the house so you, it skips the venue date it skips like the question of hdtf and no matter how much you pay the indian guys you still save money on fucking dates <laughs> dates are expensive as fuck the indian guys okay yeah all right so we're gonna try it i don't know maybe maybe we'll give like a, a solid month run in a big city yeah we might do like a solid month run in london for science. For science. <laughs> for data collection purposes. We can actually make it a contest too, like, see who can bang more in a month. You think you can beat me? You, th you think you can clear 100 in a month? I, I think if I had the time you have, <laughs> if I just dedicated a month, I could probably beat, beat you at your own game. <laughs> Bro, I'm the it's young so funny because there's, like, the fresh blood there's like, t like a really tiny percentage of guys in the community that are at 100 lifetime. And like we're like we're like literally, at, it's like unlocked, like we could do 100 in a month. <laughs> so, okay. Hope this was helpful. I mean, if you guys want to like translate this into like a practical action step, contact me, johnanthonylifestyle.gmail.com. We will beta test this with other guys, so we can help you ramp up your profile, your online game profile, have the outsource team run multiple SIM cards and schedule dates straight to the house. And it doesn't need to be that extreme. They don't need to be sexually screened. They don't need to all be set to the house if you'd rather like go and have your coffee dates and your drink dates, and you'd rather not find out if they're DTF in advance. What is this? Some chick's number. <laughs> You see. <laughs> it's a random ass number. Uh, I usually get numbers on paper from fucking bartenders when they're working for my guest bartending events. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Um, more on this to come. We'll have like kind of like a series about breaking down the different parts of our... This is basically like probably the biggest hack on the game. Besides seeking arrangement. <laughs> yeah. Which is a topic for another day. Um, okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.